Hey, so what is up, guys? It's Killer Kevin, and today you're back with another episode of Fallout 4. And today we're going to be looking at something pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie, as any zombie or sort of any Fallout wasteland player should have in their infantry, which we don't actually have in the game, so that's what I'm covering in a mod, is going to be a sexy crossbow mod. And this mod is absolutely crazy. It's called Crossbow of the Commonwealth. And it's, it's just amazing, not gonna lie. Um, there's I've looked at the ammo for it as well. There's loads of different types of ammo explosive ammo, fire ammo, loads of different things. We're gonna be trying all of them. Don't worry on that. We're gonna spawn a couple of death cores in and try all the ammo on them as well. Also, we're gonna see if there's any customization options on this particular mod. Benny, if this is psyched you up at all, obviously, if you want the mod, it's down in the description below. Make sure to go and grab it. So, the easiest way to get this once you've installed it and you've got your Nexus mod manager running is to go in game, go into console commands, and press uh, help and then space cross bow space four and as you can tell here is the bottom one crossbow down the bottom there weapon is the only one in there hence why it is the thing running as i say this is the only one there as you can tell there there is the spike fold hold the heavy strings light strings mini thing all those different things you can all customization those things that's a good indication that we can see that so what we're going to do is player dot add item space and then we're going to type in the id code down here which is zero b zero 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 three zero eight oh five space one and then boom, we have got a crossbow so obviously get out of this real quick i'm so excited about this i'm not gonna lie go on our infantry and let's have a look at it first of all as it stands so here it is I'm not going to lie, that just looks sexy on his own. The amount of work, you can just tell there's a flawless amount of work put into that as well. As you can tell, it's kind of like that retro sort of bow. You've got that sort of wind back there. I presume that's for the string, maybe. As you can tell, there's a mechanism going on there. Um, it just looks very... It looks like it should be in the game. And there's 112 damage, which is a shitload. So that's kind of cool. So let's grab it out, have a look at it standard. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, nice scope on it as well. I don't think we're going to need to change that. That's the reload animation. Just call it in the back. That just sounds amazing as well. There it is. That just looks amazing. Oh, and they stay as well. I presume these are the darts that you can actually get in game because I haven't actually picked any up or spawned any or even crafted any. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It does look cool. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to go into a crafting station, which is in this prison over here, which I like to call it. Where I keep all the settlers because why not? It does look like a prison. You'll understand when we get in there, as you can tell. Prison. <laughs> and we're actually going to go over to the weapon manager bank and look at the customization. As you can tell here, standard bow, we can change all this. Which does look. Oh my. Oh. Mate, this is crazy. Look at this. Look at the amount of detail. Can we not move it? We can move it on that one don't think we can move it on this one. Oh wow, that takes a lot to make. So obviously you're going to need gun mod level 3 for the max bow, which is the plasma one. Uh, rank 4 of science, which is crazy. We can't zoom up and down or sort of twirl it around purely because look at the requirements to make it. Adhesive, 1. Aluminium, 3. Copper, 2. Gears, 10. Oil, 2. Screws, 8. Springs, steel. Loads of stuff to customize it. They in this, but obviously a little bit like me, kind of just spawn in, all going fine and kill it with the beautiful crossbow as it is standard. So well, there we go, there's that one on there. Look at that. That looks proper amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. So we've got bolts here, not sure why it wants to customize that purely because uh we do that. Oh, that's a short one there, the normal one. Ooh, combat light frame and a re oh my god. Look at this. Not sure which I like more. I think this one, it just looks more more cool. Heavy string, light string. Let's keep a heavy string, because why not? Dot on it, none. You could obviously change the scope. But I like the one that's currently. I'm not going to go for the sub scope there. That's a little bit pointless. And the sort of front bit there, we can change that for spring. Oh, wow, I presume that's like a melee. Poking spring. Look at this. Look at the options on this. No muzzle. I kind of like the muzzle though. Should we change it for something? I don't, I'm not too sure about that one. Let's go for this one. That looks kind of cool. There we go. And that's it for the customization mods. I'd say that's it, but let's, let's, let's look at this. Oh, holy shit. Oh, wow. Okay. 
so it already has that effect on it as well the end one as you can tell there if you look at the crossbow down at the sort of lens there down at the bottom look at that it's ready just to fire a plasma as you can tell there it's the sort of plasmid all the way through the arrows of projectiles that is amazing honestly that's crazy so last thing to do as well is to obviously go to a chem station which is over here and we can actually make crossbow ammo so as you can tell here there's AP bolts and loads of other different things obviously we're going to need to make bolts as they are so let's make a lot of bolts because why not let's just make quite a few because we're obviously going to need more of these sort of bolts as we go to make all the other different variations of the bolt as we, are, as we can spamming these as quickly as I can Ooh, let's go okay so let's 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 call it about there so let's make a couple of AP bolts let's make three of each the AP bolt one of those one of those one of those not sure what AP means no idea flaming bolt one two three a saw head bolt explosive bolt a hydro hydronic hydronic no idea cryo bolt which looks kind of cool shock bolt Ooh, and a 0.45 enhanced bolt. I think that's possibly an exploding tip, but again, they require all science for what I believe. I didn't obviously check there just that quick, but it does look like you're gonna need some requirements to make this beastie crossbow. And obviously, as well, you can use it throughout the game. It's just, it's just nice. It's pretty good. Oh my God, so as you can tell here, it's 133 base damage, and it's obviously got 219 enhanced damage as well on that. Got quite a few bolts here, fire rate 2, not too bad, but obviously is a crossbow range, quite high, accuracy, mm, not too bad, weight and belly, doesn't really matter on those particular things. There it is. Woo -hoo. So what we're going to do here is go over to our, I believe, ammo maybe, and obviously try and find it here, so let's go with our flaming bolts. Not too sure if we are allowed to equip them or is it just going to equip them for us. I think you have to manually reload this crossbow every time as well. Because if I fire, it doesn't want to reload, so you're going to obviously manually change it as well. So let's drop all our standard bolts, and then let's go and use our... Let's drop those. I wonder what it's going to use next. Let's just reload. Okay, that's a little bit weird that it doesn't want to use them particular thing. Let's click on AP. AP bolts. Do you want to use those? Nope. Hmm, maybe it comes if we go and grab, leave them there, perhaps if we change the attachment at the top here, instead of the plasma one, because obviously that's an attachment on its own, we change it to a different one, let's go to a flaming compact, let's go compact bow, hopefully, no it doesn't like that either, AP bolts, Weird that it doesn't want to equip them. I'm not sure what's up about that. Hmm. No idea. Let's choose the flaming one. Because why not? Because we all know what compound bow is. And let's pick up our standard arrows. So we've obviously seen the, obviously seen the plasma one there. It's not too bad. But the flaming one. Look at that upset that it doesn't do that. Perhaps it's different ammo for different sort of bow attachments. That could quite possibly be it. Oh wow, okay. I think that is the case. Alrighty, that is some sick animation on that, and that's some sick mods. So what we're going to do now is actually spawn in some of these bad boys here, because well, why not? Let's get two in. I think the Commonwealth is going to go ham on them though. Uh, okay. Let's obviously grab the display back on. Let's put the HUD back on so we can see what the damage is like on these particular creatures. There we go. Oh, reload manually the whole time. And it does do not that much damage, as I expected, but it doesn't do damage over the time the flame on. Oh, okay. Maybe at close range that did. Where is the other one? There it is. No one's doing a lot of damage to him. I think I missed that one. Now I'm going. This does an exceptionally large amount of damage. Holy shit. I wonder what the range is as well. I'm going to test the range out. So I'm going to go all the way over to here. I'm going to get over there. I'll spawn some and then come back and uh, see what the range is like on this. So guys, I've spawned the death claws on the other side over here. I want to see if it reaches. It does easily reach over there. 
obviously I've pulled aggro now. Obviously there's no sort of judgement on bullet time. I think he's stuck behind that tree maybe. There we go, got him again. I think it obviously works more effectively if I'm closer range. So that one, keep winding it up. How better is it? Oh, it does work extremely well close range. I think you're getting annihilated by everything in it. Close range, that is amazing. I'm not too sure about long range though, but it does hit quite far away and I believe there is another one around here. So let's go hunting to try and find him. He is around here somewhere. I believe he's over this hill maybe. He did run off, so try and hunt ourselves. Bloody death claw mate. As you can tell not a lot of damage through there. Obviously close up. It is pretty good. I'm stuck in some trees. Yeah it does a lot of damage up close. Think of a death claw as well. Quite a bit of HP through standard guns. There goes his head. Rip boys. Let's give it a little tea bag. And you can obviously pick up your bolts through this. Obviously if you are conserving this, you want a pretty good decent gameplay, you want to shoot some things in the head, maybe get some headshots, maybe sort of like um, Daryl off of The Walking Dead, pretty sure it's him, then uh, yeah, this is obviously the ideal mod to get for you guys, guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit me up with a like and a comment, it is much appreciated, obviously you enjoyed me killing some death claws, obviously let me know as well, I'll take off your head, there we go, see you later mate, and obviously pick up those, cheers buddy. Then uh, hit me up with that like too and that comment. It's much appreciated, guys. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. It means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Killer Kevin and Killer Kevin out.